Hello, it's Davina from UsefulGraphicDesignTutorials.com. We've had a request from a friend to do a tutorial on how to create seamless patterns. And I'm going to do it in two parts. The first part being creating the pattern and the second part saving the pattern. And I'm going to start off by creating the pattern in Inkscape because I find it so much easier to draw shapes and colour them in and then I'm going to use the GIMP to create the seamless pattern. So I will start off and I'm going to draw a star. I'm going to take off the stroke and holding shift and clicking on the cross down here and then I'm going to take the circle holding the control down to make sure it's a perfect circle and then I'm going to take the star and pop it on top and it would be that one to bring it. I think I'll reduce it slightly, shift and control to hold the perspective and I think I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to turn it holding control to get that. This is just a rough one so oh and let's have another a perfect circle in the middle. And I'm going to align it up holding shift and holding there, going to align, make sure it's the last selected and vertical and horizontal. So that's perfectly lined up and because I'm going to make sure they're all selected, okay. Okay, that will do and so it's too big, it's 480, much much too big. You just spend all your time resizing in um, GIMP. So I'm going to do that here and I'm going to change the width to 100. And I'm going to keep the lock down because it'll be the same. So it's 100 and they're both and of course it's tiny isn't it. And documents, border and page to content and resize and then it brings it down to there. So now we're going to save, export, browse, it's going on my desktop. I'm going to call it star on black dot png. Save and important export. So it's there. I'm going to pause and then see you in GIMP. And welcome to GIMP. What we're going to do is open a new file and I'm going to do it 400 pixels by 400 pixels at 72 dots per inch. And it's going to be on a white background for the moment. What colour shall we have? We'll give it a um, background colour. So click on the paint box we're going to fill it with the foreground colour, so make sure that, but then we've got to choose a foreground colour. And I want a pale yellow actually. Ooh, that's a muddy grey. Yep, that should do. Okay, and then with your paint bucket, just click and it will fill. You can do various ways of creating your pattern. I'm just going to do a very random. I'm going to go up to file and I'm going to open as layers because what will happen now is on my desktop there's the star open assign yes it automatically puts it into a new layer which is so much easier and what we're going to do is just copy this all over the place so I found the easiest way is have your your layer highlighted, go to the move tool and just click and drag it wherever you want to. I mean you can do it over there. 
half and half. But I won't. That'll do. And then highlight, duplicate the layer. Click on there, and it's duplicated on the top there. Again, duplicate, click and drag. And because they're all on different layers, you can move them around as you want to. I'm going to resize this one to have a bit of variety. So you need to go up to the scale tool, double click on there, click on the one you want to, and then holding shift to keep it in proportion, just drag on the handle. The original stays there and press enter. And again, I'm going to move it. And that was the one. So I'm going to move that right up to the top because it's easier that way. Duplicate it. Duplicate it. I think that's enough. And that's a tile if you like and what we're going to do is save this and then repeat it. So it's up to file, save as, again I'll put it on desktop. Bear in mind that I'm working on a Mac so yours might be slightly different but this, the principle is exactly the same and give it a, um, I'm going to call it star and it's click on extension and what you're wanting is the GIMP pattern and it's a dot pat and once you've got that in press save and you can either merge visible layers or flatten it doesn't really matter um, because they're all going to one anyway so export I'm going to call it star motif and save so you've saved it onto your computer. That's the first part. The second part, I will show you how to get it into the GIMP program so that when you click on the bucket here and you want the pattern fill, it comes up there. So see you in a bit.